We human beings have incredible power. Why wouldn't we be using that? Make our future much better than it would be otherwise. Hi, here is Marco Ilenius, and I'm telling you about the power of visualizing the future. Now, we human beings have incredible power of visualization, which is actually a little bit like a design in the future, because when we visualize, we create our future. This is well known, particularly to the athletics, doctors, and many professionals that if they want to really do well their job, they train that in their mind, whatever they have that they have to do. They train and train and for the body and for the spirit and for the mind, it means that they actually do the thing before in the real world they actually do it. Let's continue this discussion. You know what? There is enormous power in our mind and the funny and the sad thing is that we are not really using that in the way we should. We have enormous strength here in our capacity to think and visualize. So here is why we are able to have a power through visualization towards the future. You know what? We have a three realities in which we live. One is this material reality, this street, these buildings, these cars, and so forth. That's material reality. Then we have what we call the spiritual reality. Here in Rome, we have a full of churches, this whole city area. And that describes our affiliation with the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, we have also this kind of a age-old ideas of the beauty, of the harmony, of the goodness. Those that always when we try to kind of bring them back to the earth, to our material reality, we always a bit kind of suffer with that because they are spiritual concept, not material. Anyway, the spirit itself is very strong living in us. And that's the second sort of reality. The third reality is now what I'm gonna focus on, which is the quantum reality. What is the quantum reality? Ever since we have had a quantum theory, it implies that everything that is here is in a constant flux between matter and energy. Matter and energy. And that means that if everything is in the flux, we can also have impact on that flux. And one way to have an impact on that flux are through our thoughts. Even if we don't see our thoughts, which are immaterial and intangible, they still are part of this world as well. And they have an effect on our reality. Whenever we use our power of visualization, we not only are creating images in our minds, but we are also affecting to the reality, through this quantum reality. And as I said before, this is what all the people that want to perform on the very high level understand today so they always rehearse through their minds and this that they do that has an effect on their ultimate performance here on their material reality but think about the consequences of this so if we can through visualization actually change our world. That means that we are actually creators of this world. Of course, there are circumstances 
that we cannot do much about. But in this realm that is our own future, we can do much more than what people usually think. That's why it is also so important that we have goals, that we have aspirations, we have ideas about the future. Because when we are deploying those aspirations, they become the citizens of this quantum reality. And that is what we want to be using. Because if we have that type of the instrument, why wouldn't we be using that? Why wouldn't we be using something that is unique to us, that we can use, that has been given to us, and make our future much better than it would be otherwise. So I urge you to rehearse this. Next time you are performing something of a task that you need to be doing really, really well, try to think from the simplest details how you are actually doing that before you do that and then see how it has an impact on your work. You know what? Sometimes when I need to find a parking place, I start to visualize early on the, our, my destination. So where I want to have a free parking space. And if I do that properly, there is a good chance that I find that parking spot even if the area is full of cars. Think about that. years back I was using the power of visualization by um, thinking that what would be the type of the person that would be bring myself into the new phase of my life because I was feeling that I needed that shift I needed to move from one era to another and I needed a companionship for that. So what I did was that um, I started to visualize what type of the person that would be, what type of the mentality she would have, um, how she would look like, um, how she would be kind of partnering me in this journey, moving from one phase to another. And, um, and I got a very strong image of who that person would be. Not just how she would look like, but also how she would be as a person, but of the character. And sometime after this very strong visualization, which I have been doing, then unexpectedly or expectedly, materialized so that I found that person I got connection to that person and indeed that person became a part of my life a very important part of my life in fact so that's how we can use the visualization so summarizing this we humans have a particular power and that power has to do with how we use our minds and our brains. It's the power of intention, intending to do, it. and it's the power with our images. Visualize the future. And that is something which only we as human beings can do. But we often neglect doing that because we go into the repetitions. 
We are just using the patterns of the behavior that we have learned from the past. Now, if we want to really become a human beings that we should become, and this visualizing capacity to build the images which are so strong that you can see every detail, we need to be using those for the good of ourselves, for the good of the others. Because that is really what makes us as human beings. And even more importantly, when you think about your next steps, how do you want to improve yourself towards the future? What would you like to become? Visualize that. See yourself in there. Try to be as concrete as you can. See every details of your life. How you're gonna live, where you're gonna live, what are you gonna work on, and what type of the friends you're gonna have around you. And do that work, and I guarantee something will change in your life.